All right, I'm really excited about today's lesson, Unit 2, Lesson 2, because we're going to be introducing proportional relationships with tables, and this is extremely important throughout this year. Our goals. I can understand these terms, proportional relationship and constant of proportionality. And also, I can use a table to reason about two quantities that are in a proportional relationship. So let's get started with some problems. I want you to solve these two problems using any strategy of your choice. So a recipe says that 12 pounds of turkey will serve 15 people. First, A, how many people will 8 pounds serve? And then go ahead and solve B, how many pounds of turkey are needed to serve 65 people? All right, I hope you came up with 10 people can be served with 8 pounds of turkey, and 52 pounds of turkey will serve 65 people. It's a lot of turkey. Um, I'm going to talk through two strategies that can help you. So what is a proportional relationship, this big idea? we're doing today. It's when two quantities are always in equivalent ratios. So in this situation, the relationship between the number of pounds of turkey and the number of people is a proportional relationship. The number of pounds of turkey is proportional to the number of people. We can see that in this example. In our table relating turkey pounds to people, if you look at 8 to 10, that ratio, and divide each side by 2, you get this reduced ratio 4 to 5. For every 4 pounds of turkey, there are 5 people. If you scale that up by multiplying each side by 3, you're going to get the second row of our table, 12 pounds of turkey for 15 people. And if you scale it up again, multiplying each side by 13, you get 52 pounds of turkey for 65 people. You can see that these are all equivalent ratios because they all reduce to 4 to 5. This is one key component of a proportional relationship. Another strategy, a second strategy, is looking for the constant of proportionality. And so what is that constant of proportionality? It's a constant ratio, we sometimes call it a unit rate, in any proportional relationship. It can always be found by finding how much of the second quantity per one of the first quantity. In other words, you can ask yourself, what do I multiply x by to get y? Or what do I multiply that first number by to get that second number? In the turkey problem, the constant of proportionality was 1.25. We could always multiply any number of pounds of turkey by 1.25 to get the number of people who can be served. So you'll see it here. 4 times 1.25 is 5, 8 times 1.25 is 10, 12 times 1.25 is 15, 52 times 1.25 is 65. This constant of proportionality happens every time. We could write this in words. The number of pounds of turkey times 1.25 equals the number of people. So again, today's goals, straightforward but really big in this unit. I understand these terms, proportional relationship, constant of proportionality, and I can use a table to reason about two quantities that are in a proportional relationship. Hopefully you get the goal and that dog doesn't block you.